Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Sarah and welcome to Rustic Flow. Uh, I've been, you know what, I've been looking for some of the uh, Norm McDonald's stand-up and I found one from his early days. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to doing this, I haven't seen it. So without any delays, let's get to Norm McDonald's early stand-up on a comedy network. So, let's go. Here we go. You ever play the lotteries? Yeah! Yeah, I never play them, but you ever <laughs> You ever get a lottery ticket something somebody give it to you as a gift, like for Christmas or something? That's a I shit gift. That was the weirdest gift to give somebody, a lottery ticket, you know? Yeah. So here you go. Nothing. <laughs> exactly. Nothing. That's nothing at all there. From me to you, a worthless hunk of cardboard. Yeah. <laughs> that's all it is, unless it pays off, you know? And that'd be worse. Imagine giving a guy a lottery ticket for Christmas and wins. <laughs> yeah. You get call a guy from like a week later, go, yeah, what's that bill? Yeah, I remember that ticket I give you. 14 million bucks, huh? <laughs> ah! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas to you then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what'd you get me again? <laughs> no, you had a cup. <laughs> oh, that was some cup too, wasn't it? Uh, guess no chance of that cup skyrocketing in value in the next little while, is it? <laughs> <laughs> you dirty dog! <laughs> I'm trying to quit smoking that stuff, man, because I smoked ever since I was a kid, you know? I remember one time, I was young, I was like 11, I was behind my garage, I was sneaking a cigarette back there, my dad caught me. He hauled me in, I thought I was in for the strapping of my life. What he did is he pulled out his big cigar, must have been half the size of my arm, his cigar. Stuck it in my mouth, lit it up, made me smoke it all the way through, right to the end. That's when I started smoking cigars real heavy. Exactly. <laughs> that plan didn't work out too good there. He looks so young, man. There was a time he caught me smoking a joint. Injected me with heroin that time. He brought... <laughs> what if he... What if he catch you with coke? He was strict, that's what I'm trying to say. He was a strict man. <laughs> that's the point I'm trying to drive home, you know? It's hard to quit, though, man. You know, my doctor, he tried to scare me out of smoking. Showed me a picture of a smoker's lung. Ho! Oh! It was really gross and disgusting. And then he showed me a picture of this healthy guy's lung. Ho! Oh! It was really gross and disgusting, too. <laughs> what do you think of that, huh? Turns out it was just lungs. That's why they put them on the inside. You don't have to look at them all the time, right? <laughs> Show some discretion, for God's sakes. He's but you can't so use gimmicks either. Man. I tried to quit smoking on the way to a guy who's like a hypnotist, you know? Put me under a spell. Every time I had a craving for a cigarette, I would throw up. Very embarrassing right after sex. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> well, I'm pretty hard to get that second date after that, you know what I mean? <laughs> after you barf on them, women get real snobby all of a sudden. You know, <laughs> go figure, am I a big nose out of joint there? They're fine when you're not barfing on them. Ah. <sighs> You gotta quit though. He even tells you right on the pack to quit. Right on the back, it has little words on the side of the cigarette pack. It says, uh, "What are you doing?" <laughs> something like that. I don't know the exact words, but something. <laughs> I understand now. They want to take it one step further. On the back of the pack, they want to put on pictures of terminally ill patients, and that's pretty rough, there. You know, that's like a picture of the worst possible thing that could happen to you. You know, I hope they don't start doing that with other products. You know, like you walk into a bakery, buy a chocolate cake. <laughs> Big fat pimply guy in the back of the bag there, you know. <laughs> so, oh, there's a big fat pimply guy in the back of the bag there. Big. I only had three teeth back there. Big pimply. Fat three tooth guy. Or maybe walking into a jewelry store, you buy a nice diamond engagement ring for your beautiful fiance. Aww. Some old bag with curlers in her hair in the back of the bag there. You know? <laughs> oh, old bag back there with curlers. Big floppy slippers on back there. <laughs> so it's good to quit smoking. You still gotta get, keep in shape. You know, I don't work out or nothing like that. That's my problem. I don't work out. You know, I haven't worked out for uh, 
Yeah, forever. I never worked out. <laughs> you got to You got to work out. Yeah. You didn't have to use the workout when you were a kid. You know how? To, you know when I was a kid, I looked good. When I was, you know, I was in really good shape when I was like uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wouldn't know me now, you know, if you saw me when I was one. I look good and young and fresh. And even for one, I look good. People come at me and go, "What? You zero? <laughs> <laughs> you look zero. Bad. Maybe. Oh, I love no man. Yeah, we can do. So. That was Norm MacDonald, uh, early stand-up um, comedy club network. And you know what? I absolutely love his stand-up style. You know when he give this little pause between uh, a joke? You have to be a master artist to do that. Uh, you see quite a lot of comedians do that. Uh, but they have to get to a certain stage or what do you call it? Uh, in their career where people can feel comfortable even when somebody's not saying. But his... Uh, when he take a pause he deliberately does it and he does it to elevate the joke as small as the joke is it is absolutely brilliant it makes it 10 times better that's why every time uh, like that joke about uh, what do you call it a uh, cigarette and uh, uh, what do you call it uh, have, smoking a joint that's a really good joke and straight after that he took a long pause and then he just gradually just said a few words and started on to a new joke that was masterful man and this whole stand-up bit i'm really looking forward to some of his old stuff because he looked so young man he really really did look really young like i absolutely love it and i'm so much looking forward to doing more and if you did go ahead and hit that subscribe button and leave a comment and i'll see you guys next time